cross that line If I could, I would push rewind It's my fault, I'll give you my heart You can crush it, move it on I'll be on my way if you want it I surrender to you Yes, I am waving the white flag I surrender to you Yes, I am waving For another Power Play show with Colt Frenchie, Andrew Lepage, Inortap, and Michael DeVellano. It's time, Power Play show. Welcome back to another Power Play Edition special show with the hockey coach Guru Cole Francis Oakley for the beautiful Sunshine State in Florida. Tonight, Sunday, August 14, 2022. I'm alone. Uh, all everybody is on vacation tonight uh, in our top is celebrate his um, daughter's birthday. Um, turn, uh, I don't know, 26. Who knows? Uh, and uh, Marco is out for uh, tonight with his family. But I'm not going nowhere because this is my last week of the Hockey Nation Live show until complete year number two. I'm going to come back 
Next week is going to be year number three when I'll be done next Saturday. So we have a show every night this week at 9 o'clock p.m. Sunday night to Sunday night, uh, Saturday night. And then we're going to go a couple of days off. We're going to have some video on, uh, on the YouTube channel, but no live stream for a couple of days until we're launching year number three with new programmation, new live stream, new show, and new insider and, and NHL around the NHL. So we work a lot on the new produ uh, production of the logo, merchandise, uh, introduction, and all the kind of stuff like this. So uh, maybe we're not busy a lot live here anymore, but we do a lot of things behind the scenes right now to prepare year number three. I can't I can wait to do that and go from there. See what we look like in Thailand, and uh, I will definitely go from wherever I'm going to be around the world uh, to do live stream, play by play. Of course, during the year number three uh, with the Montreal Canadian, that's what will be the, my priority at the first time. So tonight, guys, we have a special night. It's about the scary mask. What kind of mask do you remember the most uh, when you grew up as a uh, hockey fans and for your favorite team or your opening team? We're going to talk about this tonight. After that, we're going to talk about the weirdest co uh, goalies. What I'm talking about, the, the goalie are really weird. If you remember those kind of, the goalie where they was like, just weird, like crazy. And we're going to talk about them after we talk about the crazy mask and everything like that. So that's what we have to do on the program tonight. We're going to talk about the Q&A at the end of the show if we have enough time. And then we have no true and false. Obviously, I'm alone tonight. And then at the end, we have a friendship quiz. Of course, the five question. It's all about the goalies tonight and its friend uh, years around the NHL. So that's what's happening on the program tonight. Uh, hopefully, you're going to have a great time with us. And like I said always, uh, the success of this channel, it all depends on each one of you. Yeah, any other success, I know way to become success on that channel. You make the one make its friends with your participation, everything like that. So we appreciate sure we have a lot of great comments tonight. Uh, yesterday about the show Dream Team. So before we start, we don't have a lot of people, but we want to do it again this week. I think it was really fun to do the Dream Team uh, for the Montreal Canadian. We know we do a lot of Montreal Canadian, and that's just normal. But we want to do other team. So I'd be great if you can give me some suggestion in the chat. Tell me which team would you like to do. We do some night this week, maybe one night. A specific team about dream team or any other t team you're thinking about we can do dream team so we can the same way we did with the Montreal Canadian yesterday with the vote on the on the chat and everything like that so if any team you want to mention to us I'm going to look about this and then I'm going to talk um, about the the team you're looking for so we should do an original six dream team that's not a bad, it's not a bad idea, looking. That's, I like that. That's a really smart move. That's a really great comments about this. Uh, first of all, let's welcome everybody in the chat. We have a lot of people already. Mr. Zenit Gamin, directly from the beautiful sunshine, uh, saint georges de beauce de la belle province de Québec, with Zella and Caroline. Welcome in the chat tonight. Uh, thanks to be a part of the house. Uh, all three together. The Wood! The Wood de la Belle Province de Quebec, number one fans of the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Alexandre Dubois. Thanks to be with us tonight. Of course, the number one, the Toronto Maple Leaf, uh, Lucky Luciano. Welcome back in the house. And our friend Alan Barnes uh, is back and with us tonight. Alan, hopefully an amazing, great Sunday and rock and roll your weekend. Glad to see you with us. The teacher, the swimmer. I believe, Adam, you're back from California. Hopefully you have an amazing, great weekend with your people over there. I think you have a competition or something like that. Hopefully everything was well about this. Yeah, Butch Ring Helmet is already... Um, <laughs> hiding right now in the suitcase, uh, suitcase number one. 
already set up over there, Adam, but thanks to let us know. I wish I had my mask, Jacques Plant, and uh, I have a Jacques Plant mask. Then I got the mask of the Bernard Parent. It was a mix Bernard Parent with Jacques Plant with the Toronto Maple Leaf. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have this anymore. But uh, yeah, uh, Adam, uh, thanks to be with us tonight. From Sweden, Mr. Stefan Manberg is with us tonight. Stefan, thanks to be with us. Time to close the bar, Mr. Stefan. Hopefully your summer, Stefan, was very good for your business in Sweden. And uh, Tim Sweden doing well at the World Junior Championship. Talk about um, World Junior Championship for the first time of the history. In French, we call them the Litoni. In English, we call them the Lavia. And uh, they beat the Checha tonight, and now they're going to be the first time on the preliminary uh, third round of the World Junior Championship tonight. So congratulations for that country. They won by the score of 5-2 tonight. So glad to see that. Uh, have a, you know, always great to see this uh, fun people participate, a team uh, developing their hockey and get better. Mr. Blackhawks fan number 97 back with us with tonight. Mr. William McClary. Welcome back, William. Thanks to be with uh, the Hockey Nation Live show again. Really appreciate your support as uh, always show up with us. Uh, Mont-Tremblant, bonjour, mon Mont-Tremblant. J'espère que tu as passé une très belle fin de semaine. Et très heureux de t'avoir dans notre conversation ce soir. Le rip, uh, the pause every time, uh, Adam, talk about... Uh, uh, Stephen, remember talk about Gilles Graton for the New York Rangers? Uh, yep, that's another one. Uh, Stephen, we're going to talk about this. Uh, no, uh, Montremblant, uh, je peux être là pendant tout. Uh, one with Kings uh, from Utah. Number one fans of the Los Angeles King is back with the Hockey Nation Live Show. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, what about the supporter member of the Hockey Nation Live Show, Mr. Roger Delaney? Welcome back, Roger. Another one, uh, Vinny, James007, uh, back in the house tonight. Vinny, hopefully you're doing well and you have an amazing, great weekend and ready to rock and roll your week uh, number three, I believe, on August. Maybe not the second week of August, whatsoever it is. Uh, yeah, William is agree with Luciano, uh, Luciano about the Yes Original 6. I think it's something I'm going to think about this, not thinking, but to build this for the next three nights, like Tuesday night possible. And uh, I'm going to make like uh, every player, uh, maybe one per team or something like that, or two per team, and we can select those. I, I love this idea, Luc uh, Luciano. Uh, I really like uh, that one over there. Uh, then uh, run uh, with the fact uh, the most penalty minute in the NHL game is 4, 10, 19, given the Boston Minnesota. The most in the hockey game is 8 on 2. And our NHL and Randy Old have 67 minutes in the single game. Uh, yeah, I remember the 4, 19, then I remember the 8 or 2. But I remember uh, Randy Old on the, the record of 67 minutes about this one over there. Thank you, Ron, to sharing with us. Uh, uh, Vegas resign uh, Les Chicken, uh, Jake, and of course uh, Paul Cutter, uh, Adam. I don't know if it's a two-week contract. I didn't figure out this uh, today, but uh, uh, but I know uh, they signed both of them, uh, Adam. And by the way, Adam, I don't know if you know, but uh, Northern Patrick guys is done out for the upcoming year already. So Vegas have out already Shea Weber, and now they lost Robin Leonard. And the last now, Nolan Patrick. Patrick is completely out. Uh, I don't see to see again Nolan Patrick back in NHL. Uh, I, I don't know how he can do that anymore. Too many concussions, and I think it would be more a risk for him. He still has some problem uh, right now with his health. So uh, another bad news for Vegas, but at the end of the day, maybe the best thing for everybody uh, about this uh, for sure, Adam, about the... Nolan Patrick and uh, Mr. Ottawa Senator are back in the house tonight. Welcome back, Mr. Ottawa. Uh, Adam talk about Paul Cutter. Yep, 
that's exactly what happening about this one over there. And uh, thanks so much, Luchi, to talk about uh, Run. And uh, Mr. Enata, welcome back in the house. Thanks to be a part of the show tonight. Uh, and thanks uh, to be with us. Uh. <laughs> Bobby, back at the nuts, uh, directly from Vegas. Uh, good night, number one fans. Uh, we, uh, back in the Hockey Nation show. Bobby, hopefully an amazing, great weekend in Vegas. Uh, and the weather is not too bad over there, Bobby. <laughs> the the beignet. From Manitoba, Winnipeg. You are awesome. Call it. And Dan Ashon. Welcome back, Danny. And Colette, uh, hopefully an amazing, great weekend. Both of you have a great time. It's on a summer. Still at the end of most, uh, honestly. But uh, you have a couple of more days uh, for you guys to so have a great time. And Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, Rumor as a Vegas may be signed Heller. Last Heller. Hey guys, I need to check that. I thought he was under contract. Um, sometimes the internet is slow. <laughs> um, I don't know, uh, Adam, but uh, Lars Eller is already signed a contract, $3.5 million, so you have one more year to go. And... Um, So I don't know how they, the only way they can get Lars Eller, Adam, is to trade um, for Lars Eller. If he does for you, talk about this one over there. Monsieur Mac andrew Fijer, Gélina, il est de retour avec nous ce soir. Marc, André, Antoine. Sorry about that. That's a Mac andrew but it's Mac Antoine. I apologize for that one over there. Um, how about a Dream Canada Dream Team? As under the way with Luchi, we can go about this one over there. And uh, then uh, we have from Russia Night, Archelaic. Uh, the video is crazy. Um, it was not the one with uh, the Russia Night Hockey. It was not Team Canada, right? Again, Russia. Um, run. I don't think so. Nicolas de Gobi Bono, welcome back in the house from the belle région de la Sherbrooke, uh, à la belle province de Québec. Uh, and we have Mr. King of Gamer back in the house tonight, Mr. King. Um, hopefully an amazing, great week. We did not see you around, but glad to having you. And he wished the best for Robin Leonard and Nolan Patrick. Uh, Coach, uh, Mr. Renault is back in the house with the Hockey Nation live show. Um, Renault, um, it's easy to answer to you if it's all approved. Uh, every year they have to vote, but look like this year they increased to $1 million, right? It's supposed to be like this next year, the following year. So the next two years, It's supposed to be only $1 million. So 82 this year, 83 next year, 84 in two years. And then you're supposed to get a jump for 4.9 to 5.9, about a little bit less of $6 million. The fact why it don't jump quick, fast, everything like that, because they want to pay all the escrow money, pay back to the players. It was an agreement between the players and The NHL won the play on the COVID-19, on the bubble, and the fun year to use that kind of money to, ex to pay all the expenses, everything like that. And the contract of the TV with ESPN, TNT Sport, many percentage of that contract go on the NHL escrow for the players. So uh, that's what's happening, and that's the reason why they don't increase Without COVID, we would be already a close to $90 million. So the COVID situation make some, mis you know, it makes some, uh, create some impact on the salary cap for the front team of for sleep, you know? And that's happening. Uh, that's happening about this one over there. And uh, Mr. Free Stuff is in the house tonight. You know, 
when we have a free stuff and we have the real deal prim about at the end of the chat, that's a great night. We have a good deal. We have a great free stuff. And what about, it's just an amazing great night when you have everybody uh, is going over there. Uh, because of the rumor to interest in the brain cat, Adam. Uh, Adam, no, the brain cat is just with Ottawa Senator Adam, so no chance to get <laughs> Ottawa Senator the brain cat. Uh, Freestyle Jerry Shivers, uh, good evening. Uh, then, uh, about that, not sure, you know, tap uh, Jerry Shivers, uh, go to 50 likes at Jerry Shivers. Um, I, I, I just jump over you, Jerry Shivers, because we're not. I don't want to talk about the subject right away because now we're confusing everything. We always talk about the subject about 9.30 every night. One in our time, don't talk too much. But now he's not with me, so I think we'll be a little bit quicker tonight. <laughs> but uh, I think we'll be fine about this one over there. Uh, hopefully, as engineer, uh, visit the region. Uh, Uh, I, I, I think, I'm not sure, Renaud, that was my question to run. Here we go. And uh, we have uh, some reason, RJ Calabro back in the house. <laughs> Welcome back, RJ. The Slovakia, three, uh, and the Finland, nine. Finland uh, take advantage of the Slovakia. And then the Checha 2, the Lavia 5, uh, first time they're going to be on the quarterfinal. And right now at 10 o'clock in the next 30 minutes, uh, the Team USA visit Team Sweden. Uh, will be interesting to watch. This is a very important game for both teams. The winner, I believe, going to finish first on the preliminary first round. And there's a big trend between play number four and number three to cross the under the group. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see that. Uh, Mr. Stu, he does so. Welcome back, Stu. It was a pleasure having you, my friend. Stu, hopefully an amazing, great weekend. And I don't know if you are in the Boston area or not. We just like uh, you love the Boston Browns. So it would be great, Stu, if you can tell us exactly where are you coming from. So maybe we can add your city when we announce Stu. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, coach, it was the in the Russian league. Thanks so much, Rana, and thank you, Rano, to confirm a little bit earlier about this one over there. And uh, oui, parce qu'on va gagner la coupe avec Joshua Roy, Emile Coutier et David Spachek. Uh, Nicolas parle de l'équipe de Sherbrooke, les Phoenix uh, with Marc Antoine. Très bien, très hâte de voir cela, mon Nicolas, uh, l'an prochain about this one over there. Uh, don't forget to click on the like, that'd be awesome. Coach, uh, do you see Raleigh Kidney or Emil Eneman have a future in the app jersey or how many years for age them player to make the initial? But Eneman is a bit older to win uh, Kidney. Kidney is still at 20 years old. He's going to be, or well, 19, go to 20, uh, King. Um, Emil Eneman, he turned 22, already played with higher level quality hockey. Uh, Eneman, I think he would be his first year with the Laval Rocket for upcoming season. It would be interesting to watching him. Kidney, it could be returned with uh, QM or back with. Uh, so, Animan right now, we have a little bit more advantage uh, compared to uh, Kidney. I think Joshua Roy a little bit more. We have some other players. Can they play with Montreal? We'll see what they can develop, right? But you think about uh, Arvi Pinal in front of them, Safkowski. And it's not easy. Montreal select 43 players before this season, uh, before the initial draft. So competition would be a very high king about this. So at this moment, any minute, there may be more chance uh, at some point. But uh, Kidney is a long-term process, for at least three years, before you really see what it looks like, uh, in, in it, in, uh, at least in the professional hockey, like American Hockey League, whatsoever. And, of course, he's not a big guy, so... We'll be interested in what he looked like in the future. But Emil, Emil, Emil would be, it's another great plus. Could jump in at some point with Montreal uh, for sure. Can you see Canada versus USA for the gold and the world? I think so then. Um, I think it's going to be Canada 
USA and then Sweden versus Finland. That's my prediction of this uh, there. I think USA, Canada is pretty even. Finland, of course, with Kemel and uh, Raddy and Lenberg are really the solid players forward. And um, so one of the four teams going to win the gold medal and three of the four going to get the medal at uh, them. And it uh, all depends. Canada is still pretty good, not great. Uh, they not face yet the, the great team. And now they're going to get uh, tomorrow Finland and something we're going to follow up. And then we'll be interested how they're going to play against them. Uh, okay, perfect. How does Schoengen build on their strong season if they lose some players? Uh, but it will be interesting, Schoengen, Katerak, and the QM, how they're going to respond. They already make some trades during the summer, uh, Renault, to try to patch up what they're going to lose. But, uh, you know, I don't think so. They would be the top in the league, uh, the, you know, the best team in the, in, in the QM next season. But they could still stay around whatsoever. They lose a couple of players with their trade they make. So I, I see Sean again to have performing next season pretty good overall at uh, that QM. Um, Mr. The Captain, the Hockey National Show, the moderator, Mr. Danny T, is in the house. Arlington, uh, Stu. Arlington and like a Dallas area, if I can recall it, uh, Mr. Stu. Because that the only Arlington I know is in Texas, uh, but I could be wrong about that. Do you know what the crowd been like at the World Junior? And then it's a mix about everything. First of all, the ticket is expensive. Secondly, in August, not many people was expect that. Thirdly, the team, parents, family did not follow exactly what happening last usually at the Chris time, and you know. Financially or inflation, if you turn that tickets, price, and flying, it's another turn down, down, uh, turn down. A lot of people did not go over there. And that's a sad, but that's a reality. And August people are not mindset. You can see here in the chat or the live stream here, whatever I do here every day, I, don't, I cannot bring people. And um, I don't know, but uh, I feel like the same <laughs> within Canada. They cannot fill the building uh, because of the money. But is it free? I don't understand. It's free. We have free stuff. We have real deal bring. We have inner tap. We have people. We have you guys. But we cannot bring more people. It's all right. I'm not going to complain about things. I'm not in control or in charge about this. Uh, thank you so much for tomorrow's game, Mr. RG. And uh, Sweden versus Germany tomorrow will be a good game to follow. Uh, about this, uh, and uh, which division are you most excited to watch the outcome? Uh, uh, I don't know if you talk about uh, the NHL King, but um, every division have their own team where I'm excited about this. You know, the Carangers, Carolina, uh, Toronto, Florida, and the Atlantic with Tampa, and uh, then you have the Central, Colorado, Minnesota, St. Louis. And then the Pacific this year will be really interesting, the Pacific. Not going to be like the best team in the NHL, but they're going to compete with four teams, the Calgary, Vegas, Philadelphia, uh, well, Los Angeles, and uh, Edmonton are going to compete for the top. So that's the way I see that. Uh, no, Arlington and Mesa, a Virginia coach, Boston is fine. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Stu, about this one over there. Uh, does Jan Mizak play top six with Laval? Um, I'm not sure to know uh, what it looked like. The, uh, you know, we don't know the full roster for the Laval Rocket. I don't, it would be barely if he make it. I think it would be more like uh, the bottom six for the Laval at his first full year uh, completely with Laval. I think it's all about development anyway. And, uh, but I think he showed a couple of great things uh, he was, again, uh, the player of the game uh, today for the Chacha. And, um, but again, like I said, all depend on the roster for the Laval Rocket. I see more like at the bottom six at the beginning of the season. But we'll see what he can get there. Uh, we'll have one this year. How many games that Montreal will win 
on the share. I, I still believe they can reach the level of 65 to 70 point, 75 point next season. So if you calculate this one over there, so let's go with about 32, 30 to 33 W with possible a six, seven tie. I give them about 70 points. And I think that would be reasonable if I think that way. And uh, this would be the best for me. Uh, I don't see more. I, I don't see more um, at this moment. We'll see what he can do. And don't forget, guys, click on the likes. Uh, we could get kitchen, uh, kidnap people for French gel. <laughs> so. A sales break 40 win this year. Uh, no, Renault. Uh, but no, Renault. Um, if you go that direction, Renault 40 W, that gave them 80 points. And that gave them almost 500. No. Um, I, I, I don't see that, Renault. Uh, with the team they have, it's, they are not good enough on the goaltending. They're not good enough on defensive zone or defenseman. Um, and overall, the, the forward, good, but not great. It's all about development. They will be better compete. Like I said, I expect them to score about 250 goals this year. But the defensive going to give, again, 300 goals. They're going to have a differential now, the 100, but maybe 50, 60, or 40. But that, that's to play 500, they have to beat Toronto, Tampa Bay, Florida, Boston, Ottawa, Detroit, and Buffalo. They will not beat them two times on three games or two times in four games. I don't see that. Uh, not with the roster they have right now. Um, I, again, I could be wrong here, but uh, I don't see that kind of the team they can make that one uh, over there. I think people keep underestimating the Pacific Division. And here's the point, uh, Ron, about the Pacific Division. They are, going, they are good, but I don't know if they are good like Colorado. I don't know if they are good like Toronto. I don't know if they are good like the New York Rangers. I don't know if they are good like the Carolina Hurricanes. I don't know if they are good like the St. Louis Blues. So that, you know, I'm talking about the top five, six, seven team over there. Now, when you talk about the division over there, but the problem you get on that division is Seattle, Anaheim, San Jose, that's three teams over there are not great. And the pest on the Atlantic, you have only one, Montreal. On the Metropolitan, you have only one, Philadelphia. So that's that's the point. Now if you talk about one or two teams on the on the on the at the Pacific, I can understand that. But otherwise, uh, I don't see anything else. You know, one or two team uh, for that. Um, coach, as your people, we start returning around the last week, August, uh, for your and some content. Thanks so much. Very kind from you, King. Really appreciate for your kind of words uh, about it. I like the world junior around Christmas. So it's fun. It's a not coach. Well, first of all, Danny missing a lot of players, right? So the best of the best are not there then. So that's make another change completely about this one over there. Um, come like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you think it would be the top shape? No, I don't think so, Mark. It would be top shape whatsoever. He decided to come back in the NHL. I don't see him like uh, to be the carry price we know. He's be like uh, an average goaltender. I don't see him, you know. To get that way over there. A lot of questions, Golden Age here for the mini team. I'm sorry. Coach, how much of the ends cap for the wall with plus 12 million this year and 14 million next year? The player don't play for them. It will be difficult position for the uh, for the wall. Uh, William, first of all, is a great question. Gary, when he did that, right? People was very negative about what the heck is going to have two years like this. But at the same time, it was smart. What are you talking about? The ministers of wild guys and the NHL are considered top best team with prospect. I will give you another way. I will give you maybe the top three 
team in NHL prospect-wise. All right? And I can go that list all over the place. The goaltender, the defenseman, the forward, the Ruzi. And what happening for the next couple of years, two, three years, they can use rookies to match up the players what they have. So the contract less at $1 million, but solid players. So they will bring, uh, you know, Johnson. They will bring uh, maybe a Bowser when he complete next season, Rosie this year, and I can go that list. So they took a chance, uh, William, to do that. That cost them a Kevin Fiala. They understand that. And until they not trade one of the defensemen at five, six, seven million dollars, that would be a little bit difficult. But they had, next year they open up more people on UFE, so that would change this over there. But you have to write. Hurt them at some point, but not hurt them, maybe not to be out of the playoff. I don't see. When you have Caprisov, Zuccarello, their defensemen, the goaltender Fleury over there. Overall, with Rusi now join the join the team and Bo, um, Matt uh, Bowl, uh, I, I forget, the Bowl D. I think the team will be fine about this one over there. So that's what happening about uh, the Hockey Nation Live show. Uh, so let's move on now before I check about this. Welcome, Mr. Ron Owner. Thanks for being part of the show. With many teams, I think I should call them thing. Montreal should move and then don't wait too long. Yeah, I think that would be the great things to do that. Uh, so I was nicely able Russell so he can make it. The Kings, Jet. Uh, I don't see Winnipeg Jet to make it. Renault, they have a lot of concern with the Winnipeg Jet at that moment. Uh, overall, Renault. I don't see that coach. Who do you remplace Patrick with now, Kessel? Um, if I was Adam, I don't know why they don't sign two players right now. Tyler Motte and Tyler Motte, they can he take he can take the spot at Jen Mark. I think Kessel could be a little bit. I don't know why not. They don't looking for Evan Rodriguez. Uh, Rodriguez. Some people call him Rodriguez. Some people call him Rodriguez. Whatever last name. I would. Targeting the two players. We know Kadri will be out anyway. It's not the map. That's my two player Adam. I would look if I was the Vegas. Um, let's move on. Uh, you think Canada would beat Finland tomorrow? I think so. They will beat them uh, then. Uh, did Massac lock down Shane Wright during the playoff? Uh, I, yes, at some point, right? Because Hamilton with versus Kingston. So he, you can see. Overall, Mezak was, he completely, you know, stopped Mezak, uh, right? Uh, you're absolutely right about this one, uh, Renault, about the, this. Uh, here we go, guys. Let's move on now. I'm behind seven minutes. You can see, not only in our tab does not speak uh, a lot, myself, with other people. Here we go. You know what's, what I'm talking about? Uh, every day at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, one of the three hours, I always make a Montreal Canadian. This is 98 video of the Montreal Canadian. Apps not done yet. What are you talking about? You can see sign, cap, salary cap. You can see trade at the bottom, work in progress, under construction. And the point behind that, guys, is Montreal Canadian have to make some move to sign Kirby Dak and Caden Primo. I don't know the move yet. I mentioned about this one over there on this side of this video. And I, you know, I invite you to follow me and watch the video until to the end. I click on the like, leave me a comment because I will always respond for each comment about the, uh, about the apps daily news uh, for sure. Uh, this is in our tap. Uh, one, the first time you saw Danny T uh, show up. Uh, he did not know who it was really Danny T. So we, may, we do a, a picture of Danny. We show it online here, and then in our tap, it was shock. And that was his phrase in our tap at 12 years old when he saw Danny T uh, at the door. He said, Wow. So I uh, just want sharing in our tap again that make another impact at the Hockey Nation Live show. So I uh, just want to share it with you about in our tap. Uh, uh, tonight, we're going to talk about the weirdest, scariest goalie mask uh, tonight. So we're going to share it with you all the name so it's time guys to talking about this and uh, mention to you about the, all the mask and we don't have no uh, top five top 10 top 20 everything like that what i'm going to 
show to you guys is uh, if I don't know if I can see this right there and I'm going to scroll uh, down a, a website from the NHL and you can see what they look like uh, so uh, if you have any question if you don't know that put the letter Q and after we discuss about the about the the, the goalie mask we're going to answer to you and we welcome Mr. DP is in the house tonight How uh, do you take your second two hours to do Adam? They should bring up Primo again as a backup for Jake Allen and Paul Kaden Cooley into the top four. Get it, Denis Savard. Uh, Bobby Sorry just got back to the chat. KLS, uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I look like a uh, fire home from the Ten Commitment movie and I tap. Of course, it was you. Can I write a target? Uh, does my face count as a scary mask? Uh, Black Ox? Uh, um, we, we, maybe we don't know about this. New subscriber, Jason Ricciacardi. Uh, yeah. Ricciacardi. Welcome aboard, Jason. Thank you to be a part of the Hockey Nation Live show. We appreciate about this one over there. So that's what we have as the mask guys here. And uh, on that one, this is a Jerry Cheevers. Uh, Picture original of Jason Vohi mask, but it was stitched throughout on it everywhere until it make a bend the norm back in 1971. Look back at this mask as some ahead of his time creepiness. Uh, we know Jerry Cheever was really recognized as a goaltender for the Boston Bros with this mask make everywhere about the hockey niche, about the NHL. And then we have Gary Simons, uh, California Golden Seal in 1975. Uh, wore an uh, all black mask uh, with a giant cobra and about his stripe paint on the front for the mouth of the forehead. It's precisely as scary as it can look, sound, look like. Uh, this uh, was the mask of uh, Gary Simons. A lot of people talk about this mask uh, a lot of time. Mr. Ed Fleming, uh, welcome in the house, Mr. Ed. <laughs> Jerry Cheever's first goalie to paint a mask. Uh, I would say no, but I could be wrong. Uh, Adam loved the mask of Gary Simons. Uh, it's when I wake up uh, every time that. Uh, this is a cold mask, but he was, does not go with the jersey. About this one over there. The jersey was a bit friend, right? Uh, about this. Uh, but earlier, what about Gary Brom Lee for the Vancouver Canucks? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Jules Graton for the New York Rangers. Uh, there was his first mask to not actually look like a mask, but really like a roaring tiger head. Graton would play 41 games, and that mask in 1937 was said to have an ever grow an opening. Uh, wow, there was a bit what uh, Gary Brownlee did with the Vancouver Canucks, uh, but this was the mask of uh, Jules Graton with the New York Rangers. Uh, Uh, Salah, so how could you say something for four years uh, uh, about this one? Oh, I will lock it. Uh, be sure we don't go nowhere with that one over there. All right, the next one. Uh, let's move on to the next one. If you have any name, goaltender, you want to put in the chat, please uh, stay in the conversation, the hockey. That'd be great if you don't mind. And uh, that'd be awesome. And we have Gary Brownlee for the Vancouver Canucks. His basic wore a skull of his head in 1981 and on the top of the minimalist Vancouver uniform, which were mostly black with two stripes. The John Skull mask looked like a much more like intimidating, uh, honestly, the opening players. Uh, one another goaltender in mask where was all around, around the map in NHL at that time of the 1980s. Uh, honestly, that's where really... The 1980s was really the mask become really unique with the color and the figuring picture or whatever on the mask compared was before. It was more like Jerry Cheever, the Tony Espristo, the Ken Dryden, um, the Gilles Villeneuve, uh, Wilmer, or René Wilmer, Bernard Perrin. It was more flat, right? It was more with some high, some old, but not colorful, not with drawing on the mask. And that's more at the end of the 70s, 70s, and at the beginning, 80s, we see a bigger transformation about the mask. 
and then can go all the way today where it's a pretty amazing to see that uh, um all right uh, and then talk about kelly rudy uh Goli mass it was all for the los angeles king uh, adam uh it was the one with um, no color but with a, a grill in front of the mask uh i got into goggle uh, jim rutherford as the first nhl paint a goalie mask uh, as fleming said about jim that's something andy brown was the last goalie in the nhl to play without a mask in 1974 for luci uh, for lucky and ed mentioned jim rutherford uh, um is it is it rutherford was with detroit red wing that time he been with many gold uh, many team by the way so uh vasilisky bobby uh, was a perfect mask i can drive in tiny talk about that there was brand award uh ex montreal canadian uh, got trade for the Sharks, I believe, with them. For the most of the 1991, it looked like a shark was eating a word head. Uh, that was scary as you get bonus point to Thomas Grease, uh, who have a similar design until play for the Sharks in 2011. Uh, was really unique to see Brent Award uh, that kind of head. Uh, that's really the entrance of the players on the ice, if you remember uh, the, the big bumper of the Sharks all around the place. Uh, uh, that would be great. Uh, it was amazing. Then he talked about Gint Radden. Blackhawks talk about Tony O. Espusto. And on top, talk about Curtis McHenney. Have a, a couple of real scary masks. Uh, and then uh, I apologize, guys. I'm not talking about Montreal Canadian right now. So I know you guys, you talk each other. Don't worry about that. But I don't want to mention this comments because we're really still in the subject of the mask. So you can talk about this between each one of you. That's not a problem. Uh, I like the concept of the shock marks, uh, the shock mask for run. Uh, Jason Vohi, yes, free uh, stuff about this. Uh, think uh, Patrick Watt face uh, through his mouth was uh, scary enough to open in. That's a compliment, not a dig. Uh, Klein all uh, for uh, Black Ox. Uh, and we are still playing for that. Uh, uh, great about this one over there. Um, the next one I want to talk about is uh, Corey Hirsch. For the Vancouver Canucks, uh, the Bait uh, Motel uh, from Alfred Hitchcock, Iconi, horror movie, Psycho. Uh, mask starting uh, in 1995, the black model, a creepy orange, a yellow sky, also the perfectly match of the Canucks jersey, Vancouver. Can you believe it? That one over there, I still remember that one was where I really remember when I see that jersey, I see Pavel Bury. That's my first, and that's something we can do one night where we can bring a jersey, and you have to tell me who do you remember when you see that jersey. I think that'd be fun, we can do that. But that jersey for me is Pavel Bury. It, it, it's number 10, and with that kind of color, that, that logo in front of the jersey, it was unbelievable about this one uh, for sure. Uh, Al Montoya for the Panthers, Bobby, talk about. Run with King, Ben Bishop, mask of my favorite. Uh, he's played for the boat team that Dion actually works on uh, for Run. William Snyder, welcome back in the house. Uh, I coach, I got nothing. I'm going Patrick over and your head mask with two ring blog and is here. About this one with it. Brandon Oldby for Mac Antoine. Uh, let's keep on the subject. Uh, not a problem, Danny. Uh, then it'll be good for uh, Christmas. Uh, I like a fleury brick wall. Uh, really awesome. Uh, uh, run a king. I like a fleury was great. Yeah. Uh, let's move on now for the next one. This one, is, guy, is uh, Mike Dunham. Uh, Dunham been a uh, goaltender number two most in his career in NHL. Uh, this was with the New Jersey Devils. Uh, it's like what? It's a uh, devil wire devil as soon as skater during the 1998 season uh, looked like um a devil would try to open up his mouth more like maybe a friday 13 or something like that but uh, you can see the design where it was uh, another scary for mask and nhl Copley did not show the silver golden shiny and met of a guest and the king uh, about that no not the helmet of for sure uh, we're not going to go that direction, uh, Adam. Uh, the next one is uh, Fred Bradwaite. Uh, 
Send with blues. Fred, you are trying to give your opponent nightmare until you are pit one of the pipes. I would better for the job, Freddy Kronger of the nightmare or the L stream fame. And that's what you get for that uh, mask of the Freddy. And uh, that's what we got on that one. Uh, Jean Plan design. I don't know it was 1956, Lucky, but I know that's it really won the first one where the mask and NHL, I believe, with that kind of mask after he got a puck the night before or something like that. Uh, it was not perfectly great, but um, yeah. Uh, Lu uh, Lu uh, Lu uh, Luciano about Jean Plan. How about Tony Espoussou, mask coach? Yeah, uh, Danny. Uh, Tony, I was a special on the one, Tony O, honestly. Uh, Dan, you're great to remember. Coach, so what is the most important thing for the veteran goalie to work on the most considering a competitive level for, I think, his flexibility? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, goalie does a lot of stretch, everything like that. And when you get older, your body takes a little bit of time to, to recovery. Uh, some goalie guys can take m many, many minutes uh, only about recovery after, after the game or the next day. And if you turn that, this is Curtis Joseph Toronto Maple Leaf. One unique Curtis, the nickname is Cujo, the Senate dog out of the Seven King novel. Is a natural one of the decision about what to put on your goalies. That mask is not a brainer. If I were at the 2017 Roger NHL Centennial, Centennial Classic only game, you know what? It's still scary. That was a really unique goal mask about Cujo. Cujo play with many uh, NHL team and NHL. More recognized for me, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, for Curtis Joseph, one of the great hockey players, goalie, and NHL, never been the Hall of Fame. Fred is a, a coach with his emphasis of the night. Oh, Adam, that's great to see that. Uh, Fred Batwell about this. Uh, coach, I prefer Martin Brada for Danny. Uh, Ron King's uh, road runner was pretty cool. Oh, Michael Dalvis. Uh, oh, Michael Dalvis, that's amazing, talking about him. Mike Wieser for the Alfred Whalers for Bobby. Uh, they tried to create the first floor bear mask with Cage in 1978, uh, Luciano. Uh, Cup was solid as a leave. And Cujo. The next one is Ken Reggett uh, for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, Reggett, they are scary about the Tixel Rain Flex Bell Bird. Maybe not, but the bank went from the Batman return played by Danny DeVito, uh, DeVito was equal part scary a gross uh, about Ken Reggett. Uh, uh, another jersey for Pittsburgh, right? That's a uh, talk about those years with uh, Ken Reggett, with Mario Lemieux, Jagger, Ray Burke, and everybody else about this one uh, for sure. Uh, and after Gradon Mask, a live run for Carrier Salah. Uh, Grand Fuhrer mask was not scary, but he looked terrified with his on with his pad on the run with Kings. Uh, but we're going to my run. It's almost 10 o'clock. Not a problem. The next one here is, uh, I think, in our tap, talk about him earlier. The curses make any Kagwe flame and on that zombie skeleton, uh, skeleton, a cowboy. Uh, so many fairy school. What more need to be said? Uh, yeah, really, uh, you know, impressive by the way all the people does those kind of masks, honestly. And uh, Curtis wear this one. Curtis have a couple of years with front team, been with the Toronto I believe, at the end of his career with the Tampa Bay Lightning. He won uh, that kind of uh, the Stanley Cup where he never played one game, I believe, uh, with them uh, at, uh, two years ago, something like that. Uh, and then we have... Uh, Marty, uh, Marty Turco, 2010 Chicago Blackhawks, Matt with the Evil Griffin, Long Tongue, and Wings, uh, came out gamer. Then we have Tuka Rask, uh, Boston Bruins, the red eyes, the sharp claw, and what about the fag? Evan Elia uh, Briskalov would have to agree that this bear is to be fair on in and out of the forest. Whoa! We have a special! Fags up! 20 bucks! Here we go, Max Zuck, Super Shot! Rivers! Chop, chop, chop! Max Zuck! $20! 
Mr. Pritchett. Oh, my God. Mr. Mark Zuck uh, did it again, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Thanks so much, Mark, for your super chat. Uh, we appreciate all the super chat, all the supporter of the Hockey Nation Live show. Uh, very kind of you to do that. Uh, Thank you very much. Nice. Thanks so much again, Mr. Mark Zaka, uh, another great supporter, like I mentioned, the Hockey Nation Live show. Here we go. So that was the Doug uh, Tuka Rask uh, about this one. Booyah, Mark, uh, you absolutely right. Uh, John Taylor, welcome aboard, Johnny. And Mark Zucker, welcome aboard, both of you. Join us, Hiller, playing black, uh, Matty Helmet. He had a uh, coach behind you. It's an uh, old school locker room in the background. Uh, yeah, it's um, the Hall of Famer uh, at the Hall of Fame in Toronto. They, they do a lot of replica locker room, and that's the one here of the Montreal Canadian. If you go to the Hall of Fame in Toronto, That's the picture we got from that area. And that'll give you an idea what it looked like. Uh, uh, no mess and straight hockey, just about cap. <laughs> uh, lucky about this one over there. Uh, the next one I want to talk about um, is was uh, Thomas Grease. Uh, uh, Thomas played with many teams in NHL. The veteran right now um, played with the St. Louis Blue this season after he passed a couple of years with the Detroit Red Wings. Probably that was with the New York Islanders. Uh, I can go all the way like this. Uh, but Thomas Chris was another mask, uh, another scary, uh, open mouth, uh, uh, ready to rock and roll, may eat some shrimp or something like that uh, for Thomas. But uh, you can see the, the, the demon monkey sa uh, Sasquatch uh, type. Uh, that's what it was described here. Pretty scary on the side of Thomas. One over there. Uh, Mr. Joseph Laham, uh, welcome back, Joseph. Hopefully you have an amazing, great uh, weekend with your family. Uh, we miss you the last couple of days. Uh, glad to see you around uh, with the Hockey Nation Live Show family. Ken Dryden uh, for Black Ox. Uh, uh, William uh, uh, said, Coach, uh, have you ever seen the photo of Terry Selchuk face after a year not wearing a mask? He looked like a Frankenstein is wild. <sighs> You know, I see his face, but I'm not remember. I cannot recall it right now in my head. But uh, those guys, the goat and their guy, the Worsley, uh, the Clown, uh, the Sad Shark, the Clean Hall, and many of them with been, you know, in front of those Spock and uh, with no mass is just terrified. Just thinking about this, uh, William. Uh, great. Thanks for sharing with us. Uh, Dan, go with uh, Mike Palmetier. Mike Balmetian, the Toronto Maple Leaf, number 29, uh, the Orthodox uh, mask for Dan Asham about Mike Balmetier. So when you flow it down, the mask is called say something about the getting sound on the buffering, a buffering for everything like that. Uh, 30 likes, don't forget guys to click on the likes. That's conclude guys, uh, all the masks of tonight. Thomas Kreese, uh, uh, Tugas Rask, and uh, we have uh, Curtis Mehehi, And then we have Ken Rickley, uh, Reggett, and then Curtis Joseph, Fred Brad Waite. Uh, it's 20 of them. I did not go with the, the, the Ken Dryden and the Tunis we saw before that. It's really where the mask changing with a Ferber glass and the color on it. Uh, you know, those kind of Tunis we saw and the Ken Dryden it was just with Jerry Cheevers at the top. Uh, we see. Um, You know, this one really for me, Gary Brotley is really the one uh, amazing, that one there. And then the the one for Gilles Gradon, or maybe my top two, three goaltender. And this for me, George Ever remind the memories of the goaltender and NHL with no mask, everything like that. So that's really who they are uh, for me. And then I want to talk about uh, one more thing, guys. We don't go nowhere. All right, so let me bring back here and shut down this. That'll be good. And we are done. Here we go. What you did, the mask begin, friendship was material. What we uh, did, the mask begin. Uh, I think we said 1958, 56, William. Andy Mark with the Boston Bruins, uh, Visa Tascala 2007 for King of Gamer. William Snyder go with Chico Resch. Everything like that. You can see on that picture, guys, the Tunis Pusto on the bottom. You can see Bernard Paré on the right, on the top. 
see Jerry Cheevers, and you see uh, Gilles Gradon, the goaltender over there. Uh, Christian Vecotes. Uh, 1956, uh, uh, Luciano mentioned. William said 1959 uh, for William. Uh, maybe, I don't know who is right or wrong. I cannot recall in my head. Right, go ahead, the weirdest, uh, scary mask, uh, Joseph Lamb. You're absolutely right about this. Now, guys, before we, sh uh, we finish here, it's 10 o'clock, I know. Um, I, I want to talk, or you tell me, you know, give me name of the goaltender, the weirdest one. When I talk about the weird, not about the mask, but his behavior on the eyes, off eyes, uh, between period. And I will give you an example. Uh, Gum Worsley smoked between period. It was like, you know, sit on the bench, on the locker room, and he was smoking, right? Al Bedford, that's maybe the weirdest one. I don't know. So you give me some name. What, not talking about this, about the mass scary, but I'm, uh, the weirdest, his behavior is, you know, the hammer of Billy Smith example. What, whatever you have in your head right now, for about 10, 15 minutes, we can talk about the, maybe 10 minutes, about the weirdest name. I will mention this, guys, on the chat here. And I think that'd be great if you don't mind to talk about this one. And I will go for uh, right here and bring this up right there. So Joseph, I don't have the weirdest scary mask about Joseph, who was the last goalie not wear the, uh, the goalie mask. We talked early about Andy Brown, King of Gamer, earlier, but someone brought this to the chat earlier uh, about this one. Uh, Adam, I think my favorite was one of the mask. Um, Adam, talk about it, Belford. You're yeah, absolutely right about this, Adam. It's a, one of the weirdest on many ways. Uh, you know, the guy was consumed a lot of different things, what you're not supposed to do, and then he was show up like, uh, you know, the Connie Smite goaltender every single time. Uh, great comments. Uh, Bobby Bagadas go with Billy Smith, the hammer, another one, right? Uh, you cannot be around this crease, a uh, uh, mile. Uh, how many times Billy Smith used his stick to hit someone around him? And uh, unbelievable his behavior between the pipe for the New York calendars. Uh, the hammer for me, Bobby. Great to talk about this. Uh, I like the flowers uh, mask. Uh, I remember Danny was I was young, uh, play outside on the street. My dad buy me a mask like that, but it was more like the Jean plan with the Toronto Maple Leaf. It was really similar about this one. It was silver, and um, yeah. Um, Ron talk about Brice Galov. Uh, yeah, the gorilla. Uh, another one really been never been great in it <laughs> after he signed a contract. Uh, uh, William, Glenn Al used to throw up before many games. That's a good one here. Um, uh, William, talking about Glenn Hall, you're absolutely right about this. That's what I like to do, guys. Talking like this, mention name, memories, and uh, remind us, you know, I think that's great. And for the young guests like Nicola or Mac Antoine, but for them it's good to learn those names they never heard before in the past. And that's make this channel very unique with the oldest and the youngest uh, in the channel. Gilbert was at the weirdest. Uh, Gilles Gilbert Nendal, and welcome aboard, by the way. Nendal. Gilles Gilbert, great career, most with the Boston Bruins. Uh, that's all right. Uh, Phil Gradon, he was out there, look at his career. <laughs> uh, Joseph, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Phil Gradon. Um, John, welcome back. Alex Old uh, with a very quick and nice goalie mask was up uh, about this. You're yep, absolutely right um, about this. Nandal is agree about Jules Graton. Yep, absolutely right. Alex was a pro uh, teeth about this. Uh, King, talk about the weirdest goaltender. Talk about Ron Extal. Uh, Extal, uh, uh, another one with the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, uh, you know, remember he, he scored the first goal in the NHL. First of all, secondly, he was a guy can fight anybody around. Uh, a big giant, 6'4", uh, between the pipe. At that time of the NHL, was not many goaltenders at that size. Not many. I know some was before, can drive in or can go, but most was shorter. And uh, Ronick Sauer was a special 
behavior of eyes on eyes to be sure uh king uh excuse me, update marks and night um hockey marks in 19 1936 1959 uh, thank you so much uh rg to mention that uh, we have bobby talk about tim thomas uh, tim thomas was another one really wear this about what happening with him came in the nhl really late on his career first of all secondly uh did really amazing performance with the boston Bruins, and then he left the building he left the nhl on his way the guy didn't want to go to white house everything like that so yeah bobby he was very special uh, montreal sports fans welcome back in the house we talk about the mask of jean gilbert you're absolutely right about this montreal thanks to sharing with us you uh you think about this uh, uh, Ron talks about uh, Greg Bennington uh, or Jordan Bennington. I apologize. Um, Bennington with the St. Louis Blues. Uh, another weirdest goaltender. We know he tried to fight a couple of times between he go to the, uh, you know, break a TV timeout or between period. If you know that is never happened yet. But uh, you're absolutely right, Ron. Uh, is uh, controlling his emotion. Uh, William McClory talk about Patrick Roy was volatile, great, but it will be scary to piss off, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, uh, Patrick, while well, he was on his own bubble, uh, he was really, um, you know, emotional, feelings friendly, and um, but um, yeah, can consider him like a weirdness at some level about this. Um, yeah, through coach, uh, can I go to Trasher Danko mask? Uh, as a picture of the wild pharrell on the back of the mask yeah they have a couple of things like this um i just w I did a video about Montreal Canadian jake allen and they show he put behind a mask uh the name of his daughter he put the name of uh, two idol um he put the name of his grandmother i believe grandfather and everybody put some kind of remember some people whatever they are and they're alive everything like that behind the mask uh bennington always looking for the fight i uh, had a yep so right about this one uh bennington uh about this i was said bennington throws the water bottle at the gathering where uh and they lost uh yeah that's you, you know that's another resume the, the jordan bennington the the through the bottle of water at the press conference playoff uh, 2022 great to remember to william to talk about this uh, for sure like billy smith uh, adam uh, you're absolutely right uh, danny about billy smith another weird this uh, for bobby is ray uh emery uh iip to ray on his obviously with the ottawa senator and the uh, philadelphia flowers uh, ray uh, is way to be a little bit weird in nhl i agree with you bobby about this uh, uh yeah william we got it about uh, bennington that's not a problem uh, Fred Staff, uh, talk about uh, Elia Briskalov. Uh, you're absolutely right, uh, Fred. Uh, Briskalov was a really interesting uh, player, where goaltender, where sometimes you never don't know uh, where he's coming from, honestly. Um, his career was really strange, by the way, at the end. Uh, uh, Ron, talk about um, Emery. He was agree with that one with him. Uh, Danny, talk about Amon eating hamburger from the ice. Um, about this you know that's another something we can talk about nickname for the goaltender that'd be great if you want to put those kind of nickname before we finish and we close the show tonight that's not a problem you can talk me about you know Cujo for Curtis Joseph the Amberglar for Andrew Ammon you can give me other nickname about the goaltender the gorilla whatever you you know about nickname goaltender let's sharing that that'd be awesome if you want to do this uh, and that'd be great. Uh, first of all, Pierre Pete Martin is back in the house tonight. Uh, the scary goalie mask, uh, Gum Worsley, you have none uh, about this. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, that's another one. You talk about weirdest goaltender, and I think Gum Worsley was one of them. Uh, uh, Gum, you know, that's one, one to remember, like um, a special. Bobby talk about Gilles Vinmer, uh, Gilles uh, Vinamar. Uh, I think it's Gilles Vinmer. Bobby, you would talk about that, uh, and then you talk about Phil Meyer, but that's a two different goaltender. But uh, you're right about Gilles Vilmer. 
Uh, what about Pierre? Yes. Uh, salut, mon Pierre. Merci d'être avec nous ce soir à The Hockey Nation Live Show. Then, uh, Guy Lafleur, smoke and between period to coach. Uh, yeah, yes, all right. Guy Lafleur was a, a smoker for many years. Another RIP with Mike Bossy for a couple of months ago. Back-to-back, uh, -back, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, Guy Lafleur, the flower. Uh, one week King said, uh, Excel technically scored the second goal, goal, just the first one that was actually shot by the goalie and to the net. Um, Uh, yeah, you have to write about the run. I thought about uh, him. Luciano run to duck not what always to figure uh, uh, eight in front of his net. Uh, run duck not uh, um, run duck not got the record of the most shot against. I think it was 73 regular game 60 60 uh, minute uh, with the North the Quebec Nordic. I think it was the Boston Bruins was involved with that game. If I can rec recall it, 73 shot. Uh, um, anyone see Alex old Vancouver goalie enter a mask is teeth. Uh, uh, John, uh, great sharing with us about this mask. Why you uh, have to be mad uh, from Ilya Brizkalov sharing by Fred stuff. Uh, Patrick Arroy is, is temper. Yeah, that's your observation right about this, Bobby. You never know what Patrick was thinking, doing and feeling emotionally and everything like that. It could be not on ice only, off ice, and maybe at home, but that's another subject. I don't want to talk about this. Uh, <laughs> uh, King of Gamer, talk about Turk Broda, 1940s. Uh, uh, Dirk, um, you know, have a career pretty unique on his own style, uh, King, about him. Uh, Luciano, talk about Damien Rhodes, uh, used to dye his hair blonde before every home game. Really? I never heard about that. That's a funny one. <laughs> That's a funny one about this one. And uh, then he, uh, William, uh, talk about Johnny Bauer, used to nick now between game, but he would night sweater and to relax. Uh, William, talk about Johnny Bauer, Uh, goaltender for the Toronto Maple Leaf. We don't talk about Johnny Bauer enough for some time. Uh, we forget his name many times. I think he was a good goaltender overall. I'm afraid there's nothing only Bear and the Forest uh, for one with King. Uh, Gum Wesley uh, used to talk to the Post. Yeah, many goaltenders talk to the Post. Uh, you know, Fleury is another one. Uh, uh, many times they are my friend, whatever they call him. But uh, Gum Wesley was the one of them uh, for sure. Uh, Blackhawks fan 97 talk about Corey Crawford. Uh, another um, Corey Crawford for the Hawks win the sync up. Uh, Adam talk about talking with the, uh, the post uh, flower, the Mac Andre Fleury. Yeah, absolutely right about this, Adam. I'm trash now because I love uh, uh, Alex Ole. Uh, not allowed, John. It's a. Uh, You are right to give us the name of your, what you like or your favorite players, everything like that. Nothing wrong with Alex Old about this. Uh, Robert, uh, Robin Leonard to uh, Coco. <laughs> uh, Robin Leonard, yeah. Unfortunately, um, you're never going to understand those gold tender. It's a one of them uh, on the good days, on the bad days. Uh, uh, did Terry Satchuk get the three fastest goal in the initial culture? Uh, I don't know, honestly, Dan. I did not come in my head right now this way. Get the three fastest gold in it. I'm not sure, uh, Dan, about Therese and Chuck about this one. Uh, Curry Graffer was awesome for Danny. Around the Mad Mad X Star, uh, Luciano. Yeah, that's the only one we. That's a Mad Mad name, nickname for X Star. Uh, really um, pissed him off. Uh, his MS was uh, for Black Ox about Curry Crawford. You're right about this. Uh, and I'll talk, talk about Bunny, nickname Michel Bunny Larac. Uh, that's a great name right there. Um, and I'll talk to sharing this one over there. Uh, Ron, uh, does Vezinski do wear eyes warm up? Uh, yeah, he does some kind of face sometime on the eyes. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> you have to write Ron after this one over there. He makes some like weird eyes. 
<laughs> just go and take care about this. You're absolutely right. Um, uh, no, now we talk about Ken Dryden. Uh, about this one over there. While we talk about Tuka Rask. Uh, I think you guys talk about where. I'm not sure anymore, but um, uh, Ken Dryden did not have a temper, bro. <laughs> Danny Correct, uh, his brother. Uh, Warren, score again, me, uh, Skoro Tensky of the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> I like that. Completely forgot his name. It's uh, Skoro Densky. I know the name we don't mention enough sometimes. Uh, Bobby, you're absolutely right. Robin, uh, check my neck. Uh, is that no? And our friend Reggie from super British Columbia back in the house with another super chat. Uh, Mr. Reggie did it again. Super chat, $2. Mr. Reggie, fucker man. Set up for us. Uh, Rivers. Chop, chop, chop. Here we go. Super chat, uh, Reggie, mind fucker. Oh my God! Thank you so much, uh, Reggie. And another super chat number two of the night. Uh, we appreciate that for your your help on the super. Um, I forgot the words is that. Uh, you Thank you very much. Nice. Nice, Regent. Thank you so much, Mr. Regent. Reggie. Love you, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, and you feel great in Vancouver. I think you are in Vancouver. Something we need to maybe catch up on the phone at some point. Uh, is going to become goalie, everyone? It was going to meet uh, Billy Smith uh, about this one. Uh, I think that's where we are at this moment. You're absolutely right, Danny, about this. Uh, uh, Oli the goalie, Olav Kozik. Uh, yeah, absolutely right in our tap. Oli the goalie, uh, Olav, Olav Kozik uh, for the Washington Capitals. Uh, And at that, the red light, uh, Resico, André, red light, Resico for the Montreal Canadian. Um, number 40, I believe. I can't remember. Uh, I remember him. And at that, then he said, uh, then he did Bush Goring wear the, the leather helmet all his initial career coach. I think so. Um, that's where the, you know, the three part Adam. Uh, Them. And after that, the Dominator, Dominic Ashek. Uh, yeah, I'm so right about this in our tap. Uh, great to talk. It's fun to talk about that nickname now. I like it. Felix, the cat, Padvin, is another one over there. Great name for Felix, the cat, Padvin. Nantal, talk about Tony O. Put webbing between his pen to cover his five O. Uh, you have so right, Nantal. Uh, Phyllis, uh, Tony is supposed to talk about how he did all the kind of equipment, adjustment, everything like that. Like he he did so many things about his equipment. Great comments about Tony O. I just, uh, and then we get uh, another bring back ASEC. Uh, I would never thought the Cujo as a scary mask. Uh, William, yep, he did that. Uh, honestly, William, but then one over there. Uh, any Richard goalie that used to drink Richard Vodka during the period coach? Uh, I'm sure some of them did. <laughs> I don't know if I told you the story, but uh, when I was with the Mississippi Sea Wolf, with uh, Booz Boudreau, everything like that, they, they call up a, a kid, or they trade for the kid from Russia. I cannot remember his name, and he said, I coach, he said that we don't have no, no spot for him right now. We are full uh, because we, you know, when, when you have an East Coast Hockey League, we put two, three players, four players to sometime in one apartment. And, but now you have nobody. Me, my apartment, I have two rooms. So he said, look, we're going to give, you, give him for a couple of days and t just take care of him, bring him back, back and forth at the ring. That'd be perfect, and that would be fine. So no problem. It's happened a couple of times. So this kid coming, a big guy, 6'3", 195 pounds, a right winger. He's looking good, right? And uh, he asked him, he, his English was like me, not very good. But he asked him, where to go, where's the grocery store? I said, hey, I can drive you if you want to. We can stop by and eat some food. He said, no, 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 no. I'm okay, I'm okay. 
But he was not looking for a grocery store. He was looking for a liquor store. <laughs> so he's back at the apartment walking. And, uh, you know, I was sleepy, taking up whatever it was. Then, then a couple of hours after that, I opened the fridge. And he, he bring me be like uh, milk, water, and um, some ham for sandwich or something like that. But he has like six bottles, like 40 inch, inch ounce of vodka, like vodka only. He was drinking the vodka like I drink the water. Like that's, he was like, and he was never drunk. That's what I, I can understand. He was sure the next morning. I never mentioned this to Bruce Goodrow. He would fire him right away. He would cut him right away. But the kid drink vodka all the time. It was unbelievable. Uh, he stayed with us for about three months, and then he called up back in American Arcade League. But, um, uh, you know, every time they ask me about the number 11, I would call him the vodka, the vodka guy. <laughs> it was a funny story about that one. I can't remember that one there. So, and then that was my story about the vodka. Uh, and I'll tab Joan Moose Hedberg. You're absolutely right. And I'll tab about him. Uh, Run with King Rob Sobar is another one. Is that a goalie coach? No, I'm not sure. And I'll tab the Beezer. Here we go. I was not Andy Moog um, and I miss uh, Darren Pank. Wow, Darren Pank was what, 5'6, five, 5'7, five, baby? Jake the Snake Allen, uh, Pierre Martin, absolute great call over there. Uh, Jim Carrey, the net detective uh, for Enertap. Uh, suitcase Gary Smith, uh, that's an original name. I love it, Nantal. That's what it's about sharing with us, guys. Uh, Blake Latcher, the lock net monster for Enertap. The Brand Boucher, the Bouche. About him, uh, Ramen uh, Zemanek. Uh, Always willing to say pick with his head nickname, school save. He used to call out his teammate for not playing in solid hockey. They got so mad. They saw everything in the practice. So his head on his practice. <laughs> uh, Reggie, again, thanks so much for your super chat, my friend. Thanks for What's having the you. Matter with oh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, thanks so much for the super chat. Johnny Bauer, the China Wall. Uh, for an attack. Thank you again for the super chat. Uh, that's awesome. And then we have uh, match 1991. Ron Duck not makes 30 save against Boston Bruins. They tied 3-3. Three three. I was short of 3 save at Luciano. But uh, I can't remember that one again uh, about this. Can we hype, chop, chop. Uh, thank you, Nicola. Uh, hype and chop, chop. Uh, thank you, Joseph. Uh, and Nicola again for the reverse. I can try to get down a bit more to get the quiz coming very soon. Bill Zuminsko as the fattest at trick and 21 seconds uh, in hockey. Uh, William, talk about Bower. Bo uh, Bo Johnny Bauer was possibly the nicest human alive, such a nice man. Yeah. Great reputation. We talk about Jean Bilvo with a Montreal Canadian that Toronto may believe with uh, Johnny passed away a couple of years ago about this one over there. Uh, Bilbo for Cole Caulfield. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, who he was rare and flooded up by killing that rat. Uh, uh, he took, uh, I think it was Mel and B, right? Uh, killed that rat, uh, Adam uh, Scott Mel and B. Yeah. Uh, the China Wall. Oh, that's a great one, Bobby. Murray Bannerman was a weirdo for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, I will do it, Reggie. Uh, definitely in the next two days uh, before I go. I will do that. Uh, and I'll tap the cat pot vine. Yeah, I'm so right, John, about this one over there. Uh... Oh, William, another big one here. Eugene Napokov for the San Jose, uh, San Jose Sharks. Uh, that's a great one over there. Uh, and at the top, the Eagle, uh, another group Eagle, but 80, the Eagle Belford. It was a good one over there. We have in our top, Glenn Chico Resch 
is uh, another one for the New York Islanders. Uh, 38 light, not too bad overall. Me, Kate, Joshua, and Harper. Uh, David Arrays, the Leaf Killer. The Zabboni Driver. How about this one? The Jules Gradon, the Cradouni, the Looney. That's a funny one. <laughs> Ron Wesley for the gum. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, Reggie Bono Vachon, Bobby. Honestly, his name was Rogatien Vachon, and they call him uh, Rogi, but uh, Bono Vachon uh, for him. Uh, <laughs> that you're right. And the gummer about this. And I'm so sure he's not fans. Jerry Chiver, Jesse. Jesse, yep. Can I just with Sandra Walter? I'm not a drinker, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, USC 1-0 over Sweden. Uh, RG, thanks so much for your information. Off topic, uh, but what did Montreal fan think about the New Jersey Devil trap in the 19th century? It was implanted for Montreal Hall of Famer. Um, yeah, you talk about Jacques Lemaire, right? Did that, and it was very successful for the... And I think one reason, Joseph, it was successful. You need to have the right players to do it. And to... They buy it and they do it. And I think New Jersey have a, that kind of players, Joseph, and they did very well. Uh, the Leaf Killer ran Miller for Bobby. And then talk about the Phil Hobdog Kessel. Uh, uh, still eating a lot. Uh, she's going to next winter. Uh, for everybody, if you find him, I know no more. Who will you second team would be the row four for me, the Blues? Uh, run about this one over there. Mr. Alain Viancourt, uh, welcome back in the house. <laughs> Hopefully you have an amazing great night. Say hi to a rain for us, Mr. Allen. Glad to see you aboard. Nikolai Kabil Bulin, uh, the bully, the bullying wall uh, about this one over there. Uh, Frank Brofri uh, from the Quebec Bulldog led uh, 16 goal again in Montreal in 1920. That's a good one to hear that uh, about this one over there. Uh, as no patch this year. Um, I'm glad Karina as well. He should be back in February, uh, Pierre Martin, uh, about his uh, injury. And we'll be interested to see how he's going to respond. It's not an easy injury to respond. And Pachoudin, we know he always beat the time frame of the injury. But again, he's getting injury year after year, uh, Pierre. And uh, we'll be interested about this. For me, Karina, it's all about KK, how he's going to respond as a number, center number two. And uh, yeah, we'll be interested to watch this for me. Elvis Graton should be the head coach of Montreal, uh, Elvis Graton. Uh, Sokolski, the Slav uh, squash uh, about this. Uh, and then we go all the way. 40 likes, uh, and that's pretty good, 40 likes. We appreciate about each one of you. You did that tonight. Uh, that's complete, guys. The weirdest, scariest goalie mask of the night. Uh, we jump in left and right, but again, like I said, it's not about the numbers, about the people as a part of the show tonight. Uh, and then Adam Vianco said, Wayne Stephenson for St. Louis have a cool mask. Uh, Mr. Steve G back in the house. It's funny, guys, because uh, I always do uh, every night at 10.30. He's going to be on right now, two minutes. I make a, a, a poll vote on uh, my YouTube channel. Every day at 10.30 p.m., someone show up. And, and it's like any, any time, right? When I have a question, I cannot put all the goaltender. It's like yesterday I was asked, uh, which goaltender with his new team is going to have the best year? And I could put like nine players and I don't, and I cannot put all of them. And I'm always forget a good one or a someone in the chat like the <laughs> with a new team, and they remind me all the time. I'm just laughing because it's good. That's great conversation. But like uh, KLS told me, hey, what about Vinny Uso? Oh, forgot him. But I put someone else, right? Uh, Steve last night said, what about George Jeff? And they have someone in the in the in the reply hey what about george jeff and then but unfortunately i cannot put all the name over there but it's just funny see that so invite everybody we bought about 350 400 people usually vote 
on those questions every day on the YouTube channel. When you visit this, go there, click on the poll, and make you vote. Uh, that'd be awesome. If you don't, if you can do that, uh, that'd be great. Uh, uh, for the likes, uh, strangers, better off season like uh, the last year, right? Uh, doing good. Uh, better off season like uh, last year. You're absolutely right about this, Joseph. Growing one year at a time. Uh, Ron said, Scott Darlin, Kane mask is awesome. Uh, and then we have, uh, did you get a nickname on your hockey career? What? Yeah. So I have like Coach Frenchie since I moved here in USA, 1996. At the beginning, you know, he was coach and then he become Frenchie. And then people call me Coach Frenchie and, you know, people call me more like, I never heard my name Pierre. Like my, my real name is Pierre, but I never heard my name. Like someone called me Pierre. I, I think I don't turn my head. Someone called me coach. I would turn. So Frenchie, I would turn a cold Frenchie. I would turn my head, but my real name, I never. Um, I, when I was young, they was called me Speedy. That's really my nickname when I was young at school or at a hockey game. Uh, they was calling me Speedy. And uh, then, you know, I become hockey and then I become a coach. And the word Speedy was, I lost the Speedy for Coach Frenchy. And that's pretty much what I can remember, honestly, Ron uh, King, about this one over there. There we go. Yeah, for the minute, uh, where do you, we, um, where do you find the pool coach? I never saw it. Um, uh, if you go on the website, on the YouTube channel, go on the community of the website and um, the community, you get that one there. Then I don't know if you have the notification, PR, uh, about videos, something like that. I don't know if you get a, nef a notification about the pool, but if you go on the home videos, playlist, community, uh, you click on it and then you have different sub, it can sing like that. Uh, it's not speedy, your dog. <laughs> <laughs> And after that, uh, say happy at chat for us, and then back to coach and Danny. <laughs> Here we go, guys. It's time for the quiz uh, of the night. Uh, and uh, we want to go and graduate uh, a lot of players, a lot of good people. Uh, coach, uh, great words of expression on your Twitter feed every day. Uh, people being responsible to the reaction of the live. I uh, think so much, William. Very kind of you. I try to make a little bit more. I'll be honest with you, William. I did this for many, many years on my Facebook page, and I stopped last season. Um, I should not stop, but I was focusing so much on this channel, and uh, I tried to limit my social media participation, how you call it, so I gave up on Facebook a lot. I gave up on Instagram. I really focused on YouTube channel and Twitter, and, uh, but I, I always been like four years I'll be honest with you, William, five years. I always make a picture in the morning about inspiration, about a mindset, and an inspiration about the hockey players. And I did that for Facebook for years. And then I stopped last year uh, because I want to focus on hockey here. But uh, yeah, that was happening. But thanks for sharing with us uh, uh, about this, William. Uh, so here we go, guys. Time to oh my God! play the game tonight. Uh, it would be interesting to see that. Uh, and uh, if I forget, I like the coach tonight. Uh, just you and the chat one on one. Uh, it was different. I uh, missed those kind of positivity. I gave enough time to rest and everybody else. Uh, and uh, with everything else, let's start in the first question of the night. Five questions on the board. All about the goaltender tonight. Some are easy, some are harder, but I'm sure some of you, one of them is going to win tonight. Uh, here we go. Which year we have the most shootout? SO is for shootout from this list. Which year you believe they got the most shootout? 2019, 2009, 1999, 1989, and 1979. Uh, good luck for everybody. 
Nicolas, Adam, Joseph, Alan Vayanko, Black Ox, uh, thanks so, so much. Uh, RJ, William, Bobby. Thank you. Reggie, run with Kings. It's funny, until run, everybody was say A, B, A, B. And we got D now. Pierre Martin, Danny, Nooner, Steve G, and our tap. Look, Lucky, Joseph. Thank you. King of Gamer. Here we go, guys. We have the first answer of the night. Oh my God! Some of you step up. We appreciate the one. If you vote, B, you are the winner. I'm talking about Alan Vianco, Black Ox, Bobby. In our tap, uh, Nooner and Luciano Graziano are the winner. Uh, the first question, it was 2009-2010. It was the most shootout in NHL for all the year we just mentioned about this. Uh, question number two. Oh, my God! <laughs> Danny. Here we go. What was the total of the shootout in, in 2009-2010? All the shooter, the shootout by the goaltender. 135, 145, 155, 165, 177. <laughs> uh, 135. Uh, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Run with King said C. Adam said E. Bobby said B. Joseph said C. Uh, Black Ox said C. Thanks so much for each one of you. Uh, Bobby said D. Bo Steve G said B. Thank you, Steve. Whoa. Uh, William said E. RG said A. Nooner said D. Adam Vianco said C. Danny said B. Reggie said B. Anybody else? I miss in our tap. King of Gamers said E. Pierre Martin said E. Lucky Luciano said C. Anybody see in our tap? In our tap said E. All right. And that, that's what we got. I don't have Nicola tonight. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. Oh my God! And the answer that one, we don't have a lot uh, on that one, but someone did it very well. Uh, And the answer we got is D165. Bobby and Nooner take the lead at two, and they are the only one that have a good answer on that question. Nooner and Bobby back at the nuts take the lead at two, and many other are at one. Some of you are at zero. Oh my God! Question number three of the night. Question number three. End of season 1999-2000. Which goalie had the most game in the NHL? The player, the goalie played the most game. Is it Arthur Irby, Martin Brader, Tommy Salo, Guy Hebert, or Roman Turek? Which goalie had the most game in the NHL and the season 99 and 2000? Uh, Ron go with A, uh, Steve, uh, Reggie go B, RG, E, Joseph B. Uh, RG, Joseph, Steve G, Adam, William, Black Ox. And after that, Adam Vanyako, Nicola. Uh, Bobby, King of Gamer, Nooner, Luciano. Oh my God! Uh, Pierre Martin. Here we go. 
The answer to this one, ladies and gentlemen, we have a few of you guys. And this game is getting more interesting because the answer is A. And that gave Alan Vianco, Bobby, Enoctap, Nooner, Luciano all at two. And Ron King have a good answer. That one, of course, with Alan Van, uh, Blackhawks is a one. And that's what we got so far on the leader on the leaderboard. Oh my god! Question number four. <laughs> Regen. If I don't mention your names, because you're zero, I don't want to tell you who they are. You know who you are. You are. <laughs> End of season, 1999 and 2000. I missed a nine over there. Which goalie has the best goal average again from the Hall of Fame list on this one? Dominic Hachek, Patrick Roy, Grant Fuhr, Ed Belford, and Martin Brodeur. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Pierre Martin, A. William, Reggie, B. Ron Wick Kings, E. Blackhawks, D. Danny, A. Adam, A. Bobby, D. Joseph, C. Steve, G. Uh, Steve, G. And I'll tap. William. Nooner. Uh, Alan Vianco. Anybody else? Pierre Martin. Luciano. King of Gamer. Here we go, guys. Oh! And this one, it was not many people did it, but some of you did it, did well. The answer is D. And uh, one now, Bobby and Enarta take the lead at three with Nooner. All three at three. Blackhawks follow at two with Alan Vianco, Luciano Graziano. And Ron with King is at one at this moment. They are the only one on the board. Rick Kane, welcome back in the house, sir. Last question of the night. It's an easy one. I like to finish that way. That gives you a chance to make a better, uh, at least an answer about this one over there. And on that one, guys, what was the total of the shootout in 1989 and 1990? 42 shootout at that year. Under, over, or exact. Uh, good luck, everybody. Oops, the time. Forget the time. Run with King, go with over. Whoa, RG, exact. I only remember the final result, 2000, good vibe. <laughs> Absolutely, Joseph, I'm sure. Danny, exact. Blackhawk, exact. Adam, exact. Nicola, exact. Uh, thank you. Uh, Joseph, Reggie. Thank you. William, thank you. Alan Bianco, thank you. Here we go. King of Gamer, thank you. That's not a problem, Reggie. It was you. You were stuck. Luciano, I got it. Uh, and uh, we don't have no answer for Enoch Tap and Nooner and Bobby. So I don't know what happened with you guys, but uh, it looks like you're going to be disqualified for the last question of the night. You could win this contest. Uh, but unfortunately, you did not answer to me. And after Bobby, go with uh, got it on that one over there. And uh, and after I go with over. And Noner go with Noner. We go B and after B. And all three go with B. About this one over there. 
So if they are B, they win. If they lose, they maybe someone can cut it. Copycat, uh, Bobby said <laughs> about this one. Oh, over. my God. Here we go, guys. But it was not. The answer, guy, is A. And we have another player join the party. Alan Villancourt with under. And Joseph Laham and Reggie have one good answer. But the winner tonight in our tap with Bobby Bagadonats, Nooner, and Alan Villancourt, all three finish with uh, all four finish with a good three good answer congratulations all of you guys uh, you did an amazing great job tonight everybody <laughs> awesome we have uh, already ended the first period rj congratulations everybody your participation tonight uh, I think overall it was pretty good. I think we did a, a great job overall. We appreciate your participation at the Hockey Nation Live Show, the Power Play. We'll be back tomorrow night, 9 o'clock p.m. Don't forget my vote uh, of the pool. And then don't forget to click, uh, watch my video of the Motor Canadian tomorrow. And then uh, we, uh, if you don't know, but I have another channel it's called Cold Frenchy Travel. And I'm doing my video after this show tonight. And it will be live uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. It's my about uh, the seven days countdown before I go for Thailand. I talk about nine different things you need to know before you go to Thailand. This is my subject of the night of the show, of the, my video for the Cold Frenchy Travel. I do a video every single day now until I go to Thailand. And um, Sunday next week, I will be on the fly at that moment at this time. And that will be my new live. We'll see what happening. But until then, my friend, I just want to tell you one more thing. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Here we go, everybody. We appreciate your participation tonight at Power Play Show. But before we leave, I want to remind everybody, of course, uh, be well, be healthy. Find a way not only to dominate your day, but find a way to dominate the second half of what? Yes, the 2022. We love you people. Have an amazing great night. A sweet dream. I will see you tomorrow night. Uh Have a good night and I'll tap. Luna, Nicola, we love you, buddy. Luciano, great show tonight, of course. Reggie, I'm definitely text you, my friend, tomorrow. And then we go. Have an amazing great night. Uh, Black Ox fan was great jump tonight. Nicola. Euh, tu feras toujours le show par jour ou à cause de elle, je ne ferai pas. Non, euh, pas le midi, Nicolas, mais je vais faire continuer tous les jours. C'est ce que je fais. Bobby Bacadona, uh, have an amazing great night. Uh, Luciano Graziano, Nooner, William Snyder, le capitaine, Mr. Danny T. I'll come, thank you so much. Uh, can I have a visit? Lady, boy, girl, boy, part of this. Uh, yeah, who's that? That's a thing we need to learn very quickly. Non, dimanche prochain, mon Nicolas. Dans une semaine. Il va manquer à peu près trois jours, Nicolas. Après ça, je vais revenir. Il n'y en aura pas de soir, mais il va y avoir une vidéo à tous les jours à propos des, Maria, des Canadiens de Montréal. Thank you, RJ. Break down you and me. Should I say so? We're just putting on a show. What's going on now? Is this another breakdown? You and me. Should I say so? We're just putting on a show. What's going on now? Is this another breakdown? You and me. Should I say so? We're just putting on a show. What